Hello, everybody. I've got the beautiful Joan live with us today. Um, Joan has been touring around in her caravan, but where are you now, Joan? Oh, we're back in Cooler at the moment because of um, everything closed up. So we had to come back here. So um, we're in a little country town that we live in with our son and daughter-in-law. Um, and it's between Dubbo, Mudgee and Coonabarra brands. So sort of really, really Western countryside. Fantastic. And you're still in your caravan? Yes, we. Uh, but we, we also have a granny flat. So we oh. sort of live between the two, which is really good. Um, I come down here for peace and quiet. <laughs> Fantastic. That, <laughs> that's like your men shared. You've got Joe, right. Joan's peace and quiet zen place. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much for chatting with us today, beautiful Joan. So if you've just joined us, pop in the comments, say hi, um, let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to know where you're watching from. And I am just so excited to sh share with you Joan's story. By the way, I'm Victoria. I'm the co-founder of Superfast Diet. And we are going to be interviewing some of our most amazing success stories over the next week or so um, because it's spring in Australia and it's time to start thinking about getting in shape for summer. Mm -hmm. and, and how's the weather where you are, Joan? Oh, it's absolutely glorious today. The sun's shining, the birds are singing. We have loads of parrots and different types of birds out here. And all the trees are in blossom, which is just oh, so pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. That's wonderful. We've got Jen's watching, um, my beautiful co-founder. She says, looking gorgeous. And Tara and Kristen and Di says hello from the Central Coast. Yeah, if you've just tuned in, pop in the comments where you're watching from. We'd love to know you're there. And if you've got any questions at all for myself or for Joan, um, who's one of our amazing success stories, we would love you to pop live in the comments and we will answer you live. And no question is too tricky or too silly. Um, so... Joan, let me just explain to you, lost what we like to say gave away 10 kilos during lockdown. So if you're in lockdown like a lot of us, we're based in Sydney, so we're still in lockdown. Mm -hmm. um, but it is an ideal time to really get yourself um, to your goal and to, to change your, your habits because you're not distracted by going out to restaurants or parties so it's the perfect time to really focus on your health goals so Joan tell us how you did it during the last lockdown um I found I found SFD um through, through the um dollar for 28 days yeah um, and I thought what have I got to lose but a dollar let's have a go I've tried everything else um, and so I did that and I, that 28 days was just amazing. It's so much information um, was given in that, that uh, period of time. And I thought, hey, you know, I really can do this. And um, so I then joined the VIP program, which was on, and I did that. Thoroughly enjoyed it and had a lovely coach that used to ring me, um, Trish. And so then... I decided to carry on with coaching after that. And that was the thing that really got me going because I'd heard about fasting before, but um, thought it would be too hard for me to do. Um, and that, But with everything that was shown to us and everything, it just blew me away. Um, and having Trish there every week to have a chat to um, and going out and buying all the fresh foods, which I used to do before, but actually – looking at what I was buying um it just it just blew my mind um how your lifestyle can actually change um I was not very happy with my life at the time and so I just thought well I, I'm, this is going to be do or die um and just it just kept coming down coming down gradual 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 I've got Hashimoto's disease so everything's a little bit slower uh, for me my metab metabolism's quite slow um but it just kept on. And with, with this wonderful um, 
woman at the end of the phone every week that was just my mentor my guide and she never put me down you know if anything if I didn't um lose one week or it went up 100 grams or something I mean we're all we're all humans so mm. it's not going to be a woo as you say Jen it's it's Vic it's a yeah. woo, it's a snake really yeah um and and I just thought to myself, this was the ideal time to do it because it was winter, COVID was on, couldn't go anywhere. Mm. So let's just knuckle down, have a look at this um, and start walking, go out walking. We don't have a gym or anything here, so it was just walking for me um, that I did. And it was just, it's just been the most wonderful journey that I've taken um, oh. with weight loss when it comes to weight loss, absolutely absolutely that's that's awesome joan i'm just going to show everybody your photos oh well, thank you <laughs> <laughs> how amazing is that that a difference 10 kilos can make such a difference like 10 kilos is like i know our members they pick up four kilo bags of potatoes and they go Four kilos is actually a lot. So, you know, you're double and a half of a four kilo bag of potatoes. And tell us, what was the event with your green dress? Was that something special? The green dress? No, it wasn't. It was um, something that I'd um, actually uh, bought because I wanted to get into it. I really loved this dress. I'd seen it online and I really loved it. And it was just like, oh, my favourite colour. Um, I have to have it. So I bought it and hung it up. Um, and then as soon as I could get it in, get into it, we were really lucky. Um, we had some um, lifts over here, you know, some we, we could go out. So um, we have one little club here in town. And so I made my husband take me out for dinner to the club. I was so excited. I just wanted to show off this new body. <laughs> Amazing. So Amazing. And I might tell you, Joan looks a heck of a lot younger than she is. Do you mind sharing your age, Joan? I was 70 in April, um, my 1951 baby. <laughs> wow, wow. I hope I look half as good as you when I'm 70. You look oh, amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, Nolene has commented and said she's got Hashimoto's too. We've got a lot of a lot of lovely ladies on our program with, with Hashimoto's. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, thank you, Nolene, for commenting. Um, do you have any top tips for people with medical challenges like Hashimoto? Yes, yeah. Just I, I think you've really got to look at the program, and um, and I think you really have to watch um, what you're eating. I, I eat whatever you like. I, I eat chocolate. I eat cake. I drink wine. You know, I mean, I'm a normal human being. I do. I, I love everything. Um, but just be aware of what you're putting in your mouth, and. Um, I know a lot of people don't, they go, oh, I hate counting calories, but it is the way to go when you've got this really slow metab metabolism. Um, because I, I found that um, as long as I stuck to those, obviously you go over now and again. Of course. Um, it's, it's just something that happens. You go out for dinner, you go to a wedding, uh, people come to visit you. you, you cook up something really nice. But if you just try to stay within that boundary, most of the time um i find that it really really worked for me but also bearing in mind as i said we are human beings that we do need to socialize as well and it would be that on zoom as we are at the moment you know we can't go out and visit well most of us can't go out and visit our family and friends um but enjoying that mm. and then at the end of the day not go oh I've just gone 500 or 1,000 or 2,000 calories over um, what I what I should have done today. Just calm down yeah. and have a fasting day the next day. Great just have a advice. Fasting day the next day, and I, I've just I've just learned that there's no guilt. When I was doing other programs before, um, if I had so much as a, a, a square of chocolate or um, a small glass of wine or something like that, I'd feel, oh, I've, I've broken it. I've done it wrong. Whereas I've never felt that guilt on this mm. either. And just to let you know that since that 10 kilos, I've actually lost another three or donated oh. another three to the universe. So, 
Yes. So I'm, 13 I'm kilos capital. down. That's yes. brilliant. That is yes. so exciting. Yes. So what was your method of choice? We have a number of methods on super fast mm. diet. What, what did you find worked best for you, Joan? The best for me was uh, three, four. Um, I did that most of the time. I tried the five two, but only for a week. <laughs> um, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm not a really good cook, and I'm not a really good at planning. Um, and just trying to think of something that I could do a whole day for five hundred just, just didn't uh, resonate with me. I suppose mm. I would say. So I went on to the three four, and I stayed on that until I was almost at goal weight, and even stayed on it. Then, um, but I just mixed it up with the um, 16 8. Brilliant. Right now, we're the probably end. talking a foreign language to <laughs> some people who are watching. Um, so I'll, I'll just explain what, what Joan's talking about. So we have a two day method, a three day method, and a part day method. And um, Joan is favoring the three day method, which is basically eat, eating. Um, within a, a calorie restriction on three days a week. We've actually launched a book. I've just got it over here. Oh, so yeah. Make sure I had it um, recently. And it is actually Amazon bestseller. When it launched, it was the number one best-selling book in the country out of all books. And we're still number one in lifestyle. So, wow. yeah, really exciting. So you can get it at any good bookstore, The Three Day Diet. Um, so that is the program, that, and we've got a program around it, obviously, um, to support you. And that's fantastic. So, Joan, 13 kilos gone to the universe. How different has that made you feel, 13 kilos? Oh, just amazing. I, I, I still walk, but we've got a four-length mirror on one of our doors in the granny flat and I, I, I sometimes walk past it and, and and I'm astonished that it's actually me that's there and I, I had this this big idea that um I would wear all these clothes that I've got in my wardrobe once I'd lost this weight donated all this weight out there but they're too big <laughs> How, what a lovely problem to have. It's amazing. I'm That's just fantastic. donating all my clothes now to um, right. some people around town um, because our our, um, our little um, community op shop's closed down. Um, so I'm just donating it to people because they've never seen the clothes because I've never worn them since we've lived here. Um, and so I've been having a wonderful time um, online shopping. Fantastic. <laughs> I, I read the other day um, in lockdown, there are, you know, days with deliveries and days without deliveries. And the yeah. days with the deliveries are the good ones. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Well, and tell us the story of your birthday because your daughter bought you a special dress for your oh, 70th birthday, didn't she? She did, yes. Um, we went away to Queensland Um for my 70th birthday, um, my, my husband and I and my daughter and her husband were able to get some time off work and come up there as well, which was really lovely. Um, and on my birthday, we don't really do uh, birthday presents or anything like that. It's just usually something small or we might go out for dinner or something like that. Um, but she came out with this, this box and I, she said, you read the card first. So I opened the card and it was from her and her husband and, my son and his wife as well. And I thought, oh, this must be something really nice then. Mm. And beautiful ribbon on it. And and um, I opened it up and it was actually a Camilla dress. And uh, it's just the most amazing dress. When you put it on, you just feel like a queen when you put it on. It's just beautiful. The material is just out of this world. Mm. And um, I, I just, and, and Sally said to me, oh, I asked everybody on on the Camilla site um, what size I should get you because of like my bust is quite big for me being a size ten. It's still quite big, and she said uh, some were saying small, some were saying um, get a medium, whatever. She said, but I bought a small. But if it doesn't fit, Mum, well, you know, I'll, I'll change it for you anyway. I put it on. It looked like it had been made for me, and it's just. The feeling was just over the moon. And, and I was t so taken aback. I don't even think I said thank you. It was just like, oh, this is just beautiful, just just lovely. So needless to say, it's folded up back in the box at the moment. And so oh. we're special to go again. 
absolutely gorgeous. I've seen a photo of you in that dress and you are smashing it. You're amazing. Absolutely Thank amazing. You. Gorgeous. We've got lots of comments coming in. Um, <laughs> Nolene asks, how long did it take you um, to do yeah, to, to get rid of your 13 kilos? And she's just started. Hello, welcome, okay. Nolene. <laughs> um, well, the first 10, which was my goal, um, took me from um, the end of February. So we say the beginning of March, really, um, mm. when I started the 28 days, um, down till... Um, the beginning of October um so it was a, it was a steady a steady climb down and and I never had any really big peaks so I might put on say 100 grams one week but I dropped that plus some more the following week so that took me till then um and then it was only after that um that I decided um well actually after Christmas that I decided that um I'd like to just drop a little bit more um, because I was just, you know, like when you're, I'm now between an eight and a 10. Um, and sometimes the, the eights were just a little bit too tight around the waist or something. So I thought, well, I'll just drop another couple of kilos. And so that's been since Christmas and I weighed myself today and that's actually the 13 kilos is, is up to today. Yes. Amazing. And how many years, if you don't mind me asking, has it been since you were at this weight? Um, I was um 45 45 45 so years old so 25, 25 years, years. Yeah. well done well done you look absolutely sensational thank you um yeah trish says you're such an inspiring superstar manuela oh. says hi um, if you've got any questions and you're just watching right now, now's the time to pop your questions in. We would love you, love to answer you live. Uh, so, Joan, how is Superfast Diet different to other things you tried, other programs you tried to eliminate your excess kilos? Um, I, the other ones that I've tried, and there's been many, um, I've always felt um, dissatisfied at the end of the day, um, when it came to uh, hunger, you know, and, and then I'm sort of looking around, what can I have that's not got too many calories in it so that I'm not going to go to bed hungry and things like that. Well, I've never gone to bed hungry on Superfast Diet, ever, Good. ever, not yeah. once. Um, yeah. And maintaining it. I've, I've, when I was younger, I never had any problem with losing weight but I could never maintain it. After a, a couple of months, it would all be back on again, plus more. So for me, this has just been um, such a, a wonderful journey, learning how to um, stay at this way. Because people, actually people that I do know say to me, oh, we knew that you'd lost the weight last October because I splashed it all over Facebook and everywhere else. A lot of my relatives are in England. Um, and so that's my way of communicating with them. Yeah. Um, so, and, and, but they said, we, we, we're all going, oh, yeah, you know, come Christmas, she'll have a Christmas party and it'll all go back on again. But it hasn't. Mm. It really hasn't. And even when I go away, because we do travel when, when we're allowed, you know, we've got this beautiful Carra Castle, as I like to call it. Oh, um, Carra Castle. The I love Carra that. Castle, yeah. yeah. And, um, we we travel and um, we really enjoy ourselves, but I don't worry about the fact that oh I might have put a couple of kilos on while I'm away and I've never put on more than two. I can honestly say that to you because within two or three weeks I've dropped that again because you come back and you're not drinking alcohol every night, you're not socialising every night, um, you're more aware of what you're eating because when we go away we eat out a lot. You know, we go, we meet friends that we've met on the road and we eat out a lot or we barbecue or do loads of things like that. So um, just being being so not afraid of having a good time is what is okay. has been the absolute pleasure for me. Love not that. afraid. <laughs> Fantastic. And now you're one of our super coaches. Yes, I am. Isn't yes. that exciting? And we and I love, love having you as a super coach. Um, so 
We have a team of amazing coaches, just to let anybody know who's watching right now, and they've all done our program. They've got to their goal weight and they're maintaining and they've been there, done that, and know how to help all of our beautiful newbies through to achieving their goal weight and maintaining, as Joan said, and having a good time because we do not want you to just eat rabbit food, do we? Right, no, <laughs> that's not living. <laughs> Fantastic. So what would you tell someone, Joan, who's thinking about giving Superfast Diet a go? I would actually say to them, give it a go. Absolutely get on there. Make sure that you follow what the guidance is, all guidance that we get. Make sure that you follow the guidance on there. Get yourself a really good um, diet diary. You can mm. download any one of them on your phone um, and just just get in there and give it a go. Absolutely give it a go because I, I actually wasn't sceptical about it. It was my do or die. It was uh, uh, this is either going to work or it's not. And I'm not going to try anything else if it doesn't work. This is it. I'm just destined to be this size. Mm. Um, but I, I think, you know, we, we're all worthy of being the best person that we can be. And I don't mean to say that you can't be a, a, a good person if you're a big person, but mm. if it's making you unhappy inside, mm. then mm. give it a go because we're not here for very long. So let's enjoy it. Just get on there and, and, and find out that this actually to me is not a diet. It's a way of life. It's the way I live now. Um, and it's amazing. I can't believe that more people are not doing it. Really, honestly and truthfully, it's just the best. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Joan. And for those of you who are watching and would like to know more, just head to our website, superfastdiet.com. All the information's there and you can click the Join Now button and come on in and join the party. And now's the time to do it. It's around, around how long till Christmas? I don't know how many days, but there's not that many. <laughs> it's already, already September. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? How no. exciting. And weather, weather's beautiful. And, yeah, if you want to join Joan and get to your goal weight in time for Christmas or soon after, we would love to help you. So head to superfastdiet.com. And in the meantime, if you've got any questions, if you're watching the replay, don't hesitate to pop up um, your comments and we will answer them for you. Um, oh, Nolene says she's got the book. It's great. And uh, Trish says such an inspiring superstar. Yay. Oh. <laughs> and Nolene says thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for joining me today, Joan. And Thank you. And um, all those uh, people around Dubbo are going to be wearing your gorgeous clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see fancy clothes around around northwest new south wales you'll know they're, they're jones cast offs <laughs> well thank you so much joan um we'll let you get back to having fun have you had your lunch yet yes i have thank you i had one of our beautiful um shakes today with um, some lovely fruit in it for my lunch it was great beautiful yeah. beautiful it sounds great. Okay. Mwah. Lots and lots of love to you. Thank you. We'll see, see you again soon. Bye. 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 <laughs>